Hi everyone, it's Jeanette from Jcraft here, um, bringing you another Christmas card um, demo. Today we're going to use um, the Festive Collection Stardust Background Die, um, which when you look at it like this, just doesn't do it justice. Um, but there is so much you can do with it, and it doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas either. You can adapt it to all sorts of things, um, but we're going to be using it for Christmas today. So I'll just show you um, what we're going to be doing. Um, so this will be the first one. I'm going to go through about, I don't know, four or five different ways of using them today. Um, and this is a really quick, easy one. Um, now, all I've done, I've got a wrong one there I've got a six by twelve piece of cardstock and just folded it in half and burnished it I've then cut out a um, stardust background die in white measuring um, five and three quarters by five and three quarters I've die cut a circle frame in white um, just to stick around the outside so that it gets rid of the raw edges. What I've done on the back, I've just put some foam tape around the outside and I've put some double-sided tape just around the circle. Um, we are going to put some acetate on, but this one's not a shaker card. Um, so I've cut out a circle of acetate and this one's going to be a little bit different to the sample card that I made. I just didn't want to cut into another sheet of the patterned um, Stamperia rounds, which comes in this sheet here. Um, we're going to be using this one, and that's the sample one, um, but I had one of these left over, so we're just going to use that one there. They're $2 a sheet, and they also come in the oblongs as well. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to take off the backing of the double-sided tape. If I can just find my join. Yeah, it's around here somewhere. There we go. And just lift that up. You could glue it if you want to, but sometimes the glue will squish out onto your acetate and leave a mess. So double-sided tape does to work better. So I'm just going to place that over the back there. And I just kept this one very white looking. It's just nice and crisp and clean. Um, then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to remove the backing just on the corners here to start with and you'll see why in a minute so I'm just gonna put into position the corner and leave that there like that and I've got the little flaps of the tape sticking out it's not quite centered actually that one it's a bit better and then we're going to get the die cut that I've cut out and we're just going to put some glue all over the back and because we've adhered this corner we can really see where we want this to sit underneath it just need to get it in the middle and while your glue is still a little bit wet you've got a little bit of movement in it I think that should be about right there. You see we've got a little bit of the teal showing through. And just press that down firmly. And then you can go ahead and just pull the rest of your backing off your tape. And smooth the foam tape down. And what I didn't do, actually, I should have put some more little pieces of foam tape just underneath the circle just to give it a bit more dimension. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a couple of last minute bits under there now. 
before we glue it down. So that should have gone on top of the acetate. So apologies for that. There we go. I'll just keep it flat. Take the backing off. And the backing off the rest of the frame. There we go. And that's how quick and simple that one was. You could make it as a shaker card if you like. But I just thought something nice and simple. It's just such a beautiful die. Okay, so that's number one. Um, this one here is, again, it's a six by 12 piece of cardstock folded in half, burnished. Um, then I've got a five and three quarters by five and three quarters piece of gold mirror card. Um, I'm just going to glue that on the back. Put it straight down. I think it'll be a bit easier to smooth it on. There we go, that's better. And the gold mirror card comes in an A4 sheet um, and packs of five, and they're 550. It comes in a red, a silver, and a black also. And then here is our little frame again, which I'm just going to glue down. So once you've cut out your background die, a lot of the work is done. There's really not much else to do. Just keep them nice and simple. You could put some um, mixed media paper that you've done off your gel press or something underneath these that would show through nicely. But I just like the mirror card for Christmas. I'll put my tissue again, there we go. And just gently press it down. There we go. And then out of a really old Christmas tree die, um, I've just cut out two different sizes, one of each. And I had this old beaded wire lying around. Um, I think I've still got some in stock in different colours, but the gold and the pearl is finished. But it's easy enough just with some wire, just thread some pearls on and then just give it a twist. That's all you need to do if you want to make your own quite easy. Um, so all I've done is I can untangle it. I just started off on the tree with the wire behind it. And this is just a little bit like jewelry wire that you can pick up. There we go. And I've just wound it around to make it look like some baubles. Um, if the pearls are in the wrong place, just untwist it. And it'll come around just like that. And then finish it off at the back, cut it off, and there's one, and we'll quickly do another one, that's not really in the right place to start with, so we'll use that for something else. I've had this stuff for years, and I just keep coming back to it. Just got a lot of different uses. 
It might have been an idea if I'd untangled this before I started, I think. That's all right. We'll just snip it off. And we just want one more. There we go. That's it. And then all I've done with these is um, put some foam tape on the back. Now, if anybody buys one of the dies um, and wants to have some Christmas trees, if you haven't already got some in your stash, just put a note on the bottom of your order that you've watched the video and you'd like some Christmas tree die cuts. Um, and I'll pop you some in. I'll die cut some out for you. That's one. And we'll just put one in the middle there. But you could put snowflakes on. You could put an angel on. You're not limited to Christmas trees, but I just like the way these ones worked out. Okay, take the backing off. And we'll pop that one down about there. Maybe a bit lower. There we go. Pop the other one slightly on top. Um, I think I might put a little bit more. Put a double layer of foam tape on that one. Just because it needs to come up above the other one a little bit. Now it's better. Just raise that up a little bit more. There we go. That's that. Um, the die that I used actually has some stars in with it as well. So I've cut these out of glitter card stock just to make them stand out a little bit more. Not too much on there. And then just put that on the top of each of the Christmas trees. go and then I've just cut out a little Merry Christmas um, stamp that I did using the essential festival stamps um, with the Merry Christmas here and I've gold embossed it and all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to fussy cut just randomly around it very Roughly, as you can see, and that's okay, you get the idea. And a little bit of glue. And just going to pop that on there like that. And that's that. Really is that, that easy. Okay, so that's two we've done. Um, now, I'll show you another one, which is this one here. This one I have made into a little shaker, just because I thought he's Santa and he's got a nice white beard. Um, so then I've got my card base. I think this one's a little bit smaller. Yeah, so that one's five and three quarters by 12. Fold in half and burnish. Then onto that, I've just stuck some pale blue card. I kind of like that with him. A bit of glue. it down in the middle there we 
go. Um, now I've already gone ahead and put some foam tape on here and I've stuck a circle of acetate on. I just cut a circle out of the, the frame with my circle dies. And then I've made a silver frame out of a small and a big circle die. So what we're gonna do, I will put my little shakers in here and I'm using the Cosmic Shimmer Glitter Jewels. Um, now, which way around should I do this? Probably should do this this way, shouldn't I? So let's line this up first, I think maybe, just roughly. Um, glue on the back, actually. We pop that in the middle. Forgot to get my tweezers out. I wasn't very smart thinking. Let's just see. Okay. I think we need Santa to come down a little bit. That's right, pop him down. And then we'll just put some of these glitter jewels in the middle like that. and still need to put some foam tape just around the outsides on here and I've got this really thin one here which is great for these that's made by Woodaway um, Okay, should just about do it. So it's a good time to make all your Christmas cards, I think. Once it starts getting a bit warmer and things, we might not feel like it too much. Or you get too busy when it gets closer to Christmas. Okay, just peel the backing off there. I've already got the backing off the middle one. Now what I'm going to do with the, the middle piece of foam tape, because that's where the sprinkles will be in, I'm just going to add a little bit of extra glue, I think. Just to make sure none of the little bits come out. I'd normally put this in position standing up, but here we go. Just press that around before we let the sprinkles go down. That looks like an extension of his beard, doesn't it? Okay, maybe I'll put a little bit too much in there, but that's okay. Um, then we're going to just put on this frame. I just felt this one needed the frame to be in a different colour rather than white because it was a little bit pastel. Um, and I think that just finishes it off. But you can use whatever colours you want. Okay, and there's another one. Now, out of the middle of this one, um, you get left with a little circle. So what I did with that, I just made a little bauble card. It's a little gift card. So this one measures four by six. And I folded that in half. Again, we've got the beautiful mirror card. 
glue it on. Just like that. Then out of a, a little tiny circle die, I've just cut a circle in white glitter card. And then I've really just gone around the inside and just cut it, made it into a little arch. Like that. So that will sit on there. This will sit on here. And we shall glue that on. It's quite good this star. There is a lot of solid pieces where you can put your glue, so you don't really see it. Looks a bit like a moon too, doesn't it, to me? But you could cut out um, a star shaped out of the background. All sorts of things you can cut out. And then before I stick this down, I've just got a bit of ribbon that I've got lying around. And just put that through, because otherwise it's a bit hard once you stick it down. That's it. Chop the ends off. Bit of glue on here, a bit of glue on here, and that just sits on there like that. And there you've got a nice little gift gift card. Okay, Get those out of the way, and then this one here, um, I cut some out of black cardstock. And I think I must have messed it up because I had a piece left over. So I thought, okay, what can we do with that? So another little gift card again. So the same size as before. Cut it over and burnish. Silver mirror card this time. Just like that. And then for something a little bit different, I've put on the back some double-sided sticky. And I'm just going to peel the backing off. Easier said than done sometimes. It's quite strong, this one. Okay, there we go. Stick it down onto here. I do, that's it. And then, I don't know whether you can see or not, but right under there, there's some tiny, tiny little micro beads, which are these ones in the silver. You can just see how small they are. And because that's sticky underneath, I'm just going to open up a bag. This is a plot bag because these things just go everywhere, as you would know if you've ever used them before. I'm going to put the card in the bag, open up the beads. Just like that. Sprinkle in some beads and then all inside the bag. Good advertisement for IKEA here, isn't it? Just press the little beads down into the hole and they will stick onto the double-sided sticky, just like that. Now, when you want to get your beads back in, all you do is just put them into a corner of a bag, snip the corner off and let them go back down. And that's the best way to deal with these little things because they can be a bit tricky. And this one, the lid doesn't go on very well, which is another reason. And then I'll 
put the whole lot in the bag just to make sure I don't lose any because they go everywhere. So you could put a little sentiment on there as well. This one would also be good for even a male birthday. You could make it into a bigger card. It would be, it'd be absolutely brilliant for a male card. Um, so that's that. Then quickly, I will just show you um, how I got the background for this one. I won't show you the whole card. So I've cut out a background in black this time. And it's got a white mat. And then there's obviously a card underneath it. And I've cut out two Christmas trees and just some um, circles out of different colour glitter card stock. These are just leftover little strips of the mirror card and then just a sentiment on there. But how we've got that beautiful blue sparkle is with the pixie powders. And I'll just quickly show you how that works. So there we go. Uh, where's my water? So we'll just give it a, a light mist underneath and a little one on the top. You don't need it to be too wet. It's just a bit of a highlight color on this one. Um, so I've got the midnight blue and a teal wash. So I'm just putting a little bit of those on there. And you can see how it really shines up on the black cardstock. It's absolutely stunning. And that's all we need. Bit of midnight blue and a bit of teal wash. You could put silver or anything on here, but I just want it to look a bit like a sky, so that's why I've gone for the blues. There we go, mix the two colours in together, and you don't need to have it covered all over, just, just random looks nice. A bit of a mist again to activate the powders. Isn't that just gorgeous? And then what I'll do, you could let that dry naturally, which would be stunning. But just to let you see now, I'm just going to pat a bit of this excess off. I think I might have used different colours in the sample card. But anyway, there you go. You can see what this colour comes up like. Just stunning. There you go. So you need to let it dry before you could stick it down onto the card, obviously. But you get the idea of how that works. There we go. Beautiful. And if you're clever enough, you'll know what to do with the leftovers. But mine just go in the bin, unfortunately. I'm not that clever. <laughs> right, so there we have it. That's the festive collection Stardust background die, which has got just a multi-use of how you want to use it. It would just be great for a birthday, like I said. Really good masculine one. Um, kids one with candles on. All sorts of things. Just use your imagination. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye.